So this is your lab grade electroporator. Uh, it's fairly simple to operate. There's a power switch on the side. Turn that on. You see it starts to load up. And then you can go ahead, use the controls, select the protocol. So just go for elect exponential protocol. And here you can change all your variables. So voltage would typically probably be in the range of one to two kilovolts. Uh, your capacitance might be 1 to 10 microfarads, somewhere in there. Resistance would probably be a couple hundred ohms. And the uh, cuvette size would probably be 1 millimeter, typically. Uh, so once you have all those settings set, um, you can then go to this guy, which I always think kind of looks a bit like a whale or something. Um, open it up. You'd put in your cuvette here. Uh, there's little notches so that the cuvette goes in the right way. Close that up, hit pulse, fires through this, across the cuvette, and then hopefully your cells are electroporated. So, fairly simple. The main difference between this and the DIY uh, instrument, for example, that I've shown in previous videos, is really the size in many ways. Um, and, I mean, consistency as well, but uh, size, I think, is the biggest difference. So you can see my hand here. Um, it's quite a big instrument. Um, and, you know, there are extra modules that can get added, things like that. So it ends up being a little bit bulkier than the small handheld devices I've shown in the past. Um, but other than that, it works pretty much the same. And it's a really useful device in the lab because, as I showed, um, it really does operate much faster than you know, doing a heat shock transfection, for example. Um, and the efficiency tends to be pretty good as well. So that's the electroporator.